So we're out for a turkey trot this morning. <laughs> and just before we start cooking, so I'm starting with the collard greens this morning. Yeah, I got them at the farmer's market, so they need to be nice and cleaned. Um, but before we start using them, I need to cut the center out because this is the hard, the hard um, part of it that doesn't cook down very well. It can be very tough. So I like to remove this from the greens prior to washing. Um, that way you don't get water all over the counter and cutting board. And you, once you wash and clean them, they're ready to cook. So right now they're waiting for the sous chef to come over and wash them. Um, that would be the hubster. <laughs> and um, to come and clean them for us. And so while they're doing that, I'm going to get started chopping our onions. Well, they're already chopped. The peppers and the garlic. And here we have our peppers, onions, and garlic, and greens, and broth. And now it's all sautéing right here in our stock pot. And right here, this is for the dressing. And I went and got some sage from the garden. I'm gonna use some oregano and our broth. And here our greens are in the stock pot cooking down. Just gonna add the lid and it'll help it do a faster job. Here I'm making the cornbread for our cornbread dressing. So it's just cornmeal, flour, a little bit of sugar, salt, baking powder, baking soda, and you're gonna use your milk and what have you. And I just mix it all together and sort it, you know, everything should be in there. Now I'm trying to think, like did I miss anything? Um, yeah, so I just put them into little pans and bake them at 350 degrees for probably about 45 minutes. And here they are done. And now I'm just going to add them to our large bowl here. Break them up because um, they're super hot. They just came out the oven, and but I need to get started on the dressing. And, um, and I'm just going to break them up here. And you can see that steam coming right out of it. So you know it's hot. <laughs> it is super hot. What are you guys making for your Thanksgiving meal? Um... Uh, inquiring minds would like to know what's on the menu for today and how many people are you serving today or are you having a uh, just yourself or a small gathering what are you guys doing today so I'm just breaking this all up to make sure um, that I can get it into bite-sized pieces so no one gets large chunks and then to this I added the sauteed onions bell pepper and garlic and now um, I am going to take one of the canisters of broth that I made earlier in the week, right here. And we're just going to add this in. And you know, like I say, you have to season as you go, guys. Nothing worse than unseasoned food, especially if you have lots of people eating it. <laughs> and so it's nice and mixed up. And so I'm going to add it to the three and a half quart brazier. Maya says that this is too small and I should use the five quart. We shall see. She was right. I should use the five quart. Now we're going to make some stuffed eggs. And I think we're probably going to leave it here because it's getting hot. And we will see you guys later. Happy Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving.